One of the priorities was to reconnect with the people, and I think we've done that. We've gone through Vunu Level, we've gone to different villages, different stops. Uh, up here in Tabiuni, we've done the same. But it's just as important for me, the biggest priority for me is the players reconnecting with who they are. Welcome to the island of Taviuni. Welcome to the Time Sports Show on the Fiji Times Facebook and YouTube channel. Uh, we're here in Welangi, Taviuni. Of course, we are the Fiji Water Flying Fijians have been camping for this week. Uh, they're here in preparations for the Pacific Nations Cup and uh, the test matches against France and England leading up to the World Cup in France later this year. We're lucky, we're fortunate enough to have uh, the head coach of the Flying Fijian, Simon Revolui, speak to us. Uh, coach, thank you for taking our time. I know it's been a busy schedule here in Taviuni. So far, uh, we've uh, crossed the midpoint of uh, the one week uh, that we are here in Taviuni. How has it been for your team? It's been really good. Obviously, uh, had a long travel day on uh, on the Saturday. Uh, it was a great journey because we actually got to. Uh, it was the start of our journey. Got to reconnect, uh, meet our people, uh, get together collectively. So it was really good. Um, it's, uh, Sunday we actually got to go to Somo Somo, Simi uh, uh village, uh, Lotu, um, and again connect. Um, and then we've had two really had good days of uh, work. Uh, I think the first day getting out of a few of the cobwebs, um, <clears throat> just seeing where we were and it was a really good session yesterday, I think it was improvements across the board, so uh, we were really happy. Hmm. Coming here to Tavuni, I would basically ask, whose idea was it to come here? Uh, it was like when when I when I got the role, it was one of the ideas that we'd had uh, back in 2020. We came here with the academy, uh, myself and Bill Nondolo and a number of the number of the players. And as soon as uh, I was appointed to that role, um, we had such a good time uh, during that period. We we were actually here when uh, Cyclone hit New Year. It was a good experience for the boys and just made me thought how good it was to reconnect, uh, get back to basics. Uh, those sort of things that are important for a rugby team so that was straight in the mind as soon as I was appointed that we started looking to, into it to see if it was uh, possible obviously it's a big logistical uh, challenge uh, getting all the way here from the mainland but we were fortunate enough to be able to uh, get it here now we're here and I think we're uh, it's really uh, been profitable uh, so far for the still still another couple of days uh, to go here but it's been really good uh, good experience mm. While here you've had community engagements, you've had uh, a few training sessions as well. Uh, players meeting uh, you know, their family members, some of them have their family members here, some of them are from Taviuni. But uh, you mentioned the main reason coming here was uh, reconnecting uh, from uh, where they are from, you yeah. know, where they've uh, come up from. I guess it's uh, on both the sides, from uh, the people of Taviuni and the players, it's been a win-win situation of uh, how, how things have folded up. Yeah, I think it's been a win-win. We've obviously the, one of the priorities was to reconnect with the people, and I think we've done that. We've gone through Vunu Level, we've gone to different villages, different stops. Uh, up here in Taviuni, we've done the same. But it's just as important for me, the biggest priority for me is the players reconnecting with who they are, where they came from, why we play, and what, what we're playing for. And it's a, it's, a, it's a really important investment for for us as a team and ourselves and the community. So it's, a, it's been a really good uh, experience so far. I'm looking forward to for the remainder of the week. Mm. One part of is it uh, remembering the past, where they came from, and the other is our future. During the training sessions, there have been a lot of kids, uh, some even after schools, they've been here in school uniforms, running around. Uh, just yesterday afternoon, we were seeing when Ben Volavola and Teti Teller, they were doing their Fiji. practice ki ki kicking. I think only in Fiji, you will get uh, kids running uh, in front of you while you yep. were trying to focus on kicking. So I guess it's uh, more of uh, building for the future as well? Yeah, well, it's it's always about building, building for the future. And one of the, one of the proudest things for me and uh, one of the things I get emotional about is when uh, our, our younger generation they get to see their heroes maybe they get to see their heroes once in their life uh, you go to the village and uh, they get to see the, the superstars that they only see on television so it's something that they will take and hopefully that generates uh, future flying Fijians and Fijiana uh, for the for the future um, I think it's created a buzz around the rugby again um, you see here when we, we've been training has been uh, 
there's been a lot of support around the field. You see at the end of the sessions, the kids are coming on, helping with the bands, helping with the grabbing the balls, and just it's it's really about connecting with them both ways not not just us connecting with them them connecting with us and we should showing that we're both invested in them because we, we are going to ask for them to support us through to the campaign we have to invest in them as well hmm. for you personally uh, you mentioned you were here before with the 20 side uh, but uh, <clears throat> it's a different story coming in with the senior side the national team heading into the world cup obviously uh, how has it the experience been so far it's, it's just been weeks uh, that you've uh, taken up the role so you know some of the best players in the world uh, to coach yeah. some of the best uh, uh, coaching staff that you have uh, on board with you so how personally how has the experience been for you it's been really good uh, it's obviously fiji rugby the flying fijians holds a very very uh, strong part of my heart having played for them uh, so it's 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 an honor for them to to come back i've really enjoyed the occasion i've got a great staff with me that i know personally um, the players have, have been great <clears throat> they've got the talent we just got to get them in the right direction and get them ready to play so i think uh it's, it's, for me it's been a very uh, rewarding experience so far and just looking forward to the journey and i guess the walk becomes a bit easier with uh, uh, having uh, players who have you you have played with before uh, in your coaching staff and of course uh, who play some experienced players in your squad which uh, have been uh, in the lineup for some time now it makes your jobs a, a bit easier yeah we've got a strong playing group um, <clears throat> the great thing about the playing group is that We've got a really strong core that is obviously been based in Europe, and with the with the with the advancement of the draw in the last two years, we've got a really strong mi mixture of uh, both players playing on Ireland, players overseas, and bringing them together. Um, it's uh, it's a really exciting uh, time for us at the moment. We've got a lot of talent. Um, yeah, so it's it's been really rewarding for, for me personally. Speaking about the draw. Uh, there's a number of players from the Drua who are part of the squad. There was a lot of questions of how will they adjust with the <coughs> professional players from uh, overseas. Uh, how has that transition been, the players from overseas coming down to the Drua level and the Drua players living up? Uh, uh, we spoke to some players. Uh, for them, uh, some training sessions were beyond the expectations. Uh, this is uh, the Drua players, obviously. So how, how has that uh, transition been, they, uh, them trying to match with each other? I think the, the one thing we can say now about uh, having the Drua playing in Super Rugby, they're playing on the same same level, they're, it's a, they're both in great competitions, whether it be Europe, whether it be in the Southern Hemisphere with the Super Rugby, so that, that side of it's easy. The transition coming back, there's obviously different clubs, different uh, different uh, relationships, but it's been great so far. This, this was part of the reason we wanted to come here, so we took away all the all the fancy more cons, everything here you will see here it's not a lot of reception for for, for for your phones those sort of things so it uh creates conversation boys sitting sitting around together communicating really connecting and it's uh, we can we can really see those relationships growing and we we, we went out uh, today at uh, Boma the, the falls and it was really it was a great occasion you can really see the boys mixing so yeah it's um it's it's uh it's always hard when you bring uh, groups from overseas, but it's it's going very well so far. Mm, uh, Coach, briefly from here, you, you uh, get back on VT level on Saturday. Well, what's the plan like for the Flying Fijians uh, heading into the PNC? <clears throat> so we've got another week of preparation uh, the following week. We'll be in based in uh, in Nandy from then from then on. So we'll have a pretty uh, secure, tight uh, preparation. We'll. We'll be using the draw base, obviously, which is world world uh, class. So that, that's a really good uh, opportunity for us, and we're just looking forward to growing each day, growing each week, and looking forward to our first match. Thank you very much for your time, coach, and all the best for the remainder of your time here in Tavuni, and of course uh, heading into the World Cup. We wish you all the very best, and uh, we do hope that you do repeat uh, uh, our. Uh, or what we finished in 2007 and of course who knows even go one or two better than that thank you very much thank coach. you very much and thanks Renaka. for your support huh? Renaka. Renaka. there you go you heard it from the man himself the head coach of the flying fiji and simon Rewalui. remember to uh, grab your copy of the fiji times uh, daily for the latest on the flying fiji and of course every other sport uh, that happens around the country till we meet again